Okay, so this is going to be a brief tutorial on how to convert patterns from Sims 3 pack to working package files. Uh, I'm only going to do single color channel panels patterns for this uh, tutorial. I can cover multi layers in another one, they're more complicated. Um, I'm also not going to cover how to obtain any of the programs I'm going to use, which will include S3PE, Delphi's Multi Extractor, and a Renamer program. So, first step, we're going to uh, extract the package files from these Seams 3 pack patterns, which I've already set aside for this tutorial. So, open the extractor. Um, you're going to browse to whatever the appropriate folder is where your Sims 3 pack files are located and then you're probably going to want the resulting package files in the same folder so we have the same path for both. You're going to make sure that the um, rename files on save is checked um, so that it will automatically give them the same name as the original file and then click extract. Takes a few seconds and we're done with that. Now we're going to select all the Sims 3 pack files and just put them in the recycle bin. We don't need them anymore. Next, the renamer program. You just select all of your files that you want to do over here. Um, add a couple of rules. In this case, we're going to remove all spaces and we're going to replace any dashes with underscores. And it'll show you a preview of the changes it's going to make. You click rename. You're all done. So we've gotten rid of any characters. The game won't be able to read well. You can also make presets. Um, I already have a bunch of presets set up. Okay, now we're ready to edit the package files properly. So, with S3PE already installed, all you have to do is click on the file to open it. Double click on the file to open it. Now, the first thing I always do is I save the icon um, so that later I can tell what pattern this is. Um, it's important to note, I guess, that there are two of these tags within the package file that show the image. Only one of them can be saved as an image file, and that's the icon. So you right-click on the icon, export, and I give it the same name as the original package file for easy finding later. And then we're going to go into this file right here that has the 7EDD um, image tag. You're going to double click on this to bring up this window. Click use resource name and type in a unique name. I, again, use the same name as the um, package file name so that I'm consistent and that way I can be sure I'm using something different on every single one. <clears throat> when you've typed in the name you're going to use, you want to click the FNV64 button here. It'll generate a new instance number. Copy everything after the 0x. Click OK. And then you want the XML 0333406C file. Right click and click the notepad to bring it up. You're going to find the instance number here, the 7EDD, and you're just going to 
paste over the new number that you created in the uh, previous window. Now there are a couple of other things you can do while you have this file open. One is check the category name. This is already in the wood category, which is where it belongs, so that's fine. Uh, then you can go over here and look at the reset key and see if there's a space here, which there happens to be in this one. This space is what causes the materializing materials error. So if you find it, you want to remove the space. And once you've completed your changes, save the file, then close. It's going to ask you if you want to commit. You click yes. And since we edited something besides just the 7EDD number, we need to copy that change into the pattern tag. So the materializing materials error shows up here as well. And if the category name was changed, you'd need to change the category name here as well. And we're all done. The crossed out files are the originals that you replaced. The new ones will show up at the bottom. And you can just save and close and you're done. Um, and then after this, all you have to do is install the uh, package file. Um, I recommend using CC Magic because if there was a materializing materials error and you missed it, uh, CC Magic will notify you of the error. And um, I also highly recommend testing newly converted patterns before you jump into your main game with them. Use a different save file. And I'll convert these other three patterns here just uh, so you guys can see the process a couple more times. This time I will save the icon in the uh, correct folder. Copy that number, find the correct XML file, and open it. Replace. This one does not have the materializing materials error. Still in the correct category, so that's the only change we're going to make. And since that's the only change we made, we don't need to edit the pattern tag for this one, so we are done even faster. Uh, Control S will save when you have a pattern open and Control W will close the current pattern. I'm using Control C and Control V for copying and pasting, just for the record. Uh, now this pattern, I am going to actually change the category on. It doesn't have a materializing materials error, but I want this one in the miscellaneous category because that's where I file musical notes. So I'm going to change the category here. And then I have to likewise change the category in the pattern tag. And then 
save and close. And last one. This one again, I'm going to change the category on. Planets also go in the miscellaneous category for me. Fun fact, if you mistype the category name uh, when you're changing it, you will find the pattern in-game in the miscellaneous category. And all done. I'm going to retrieve the uh, icon that I saved to the wrong folder. And I'm all done. These patterns are ready for testing. And that's it. As always, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.